This is a lesson in counting from 10 to, 19, to 99, combining the real quantities with the written numeral symbol. And this lesson should come after a lesson has been given in just um, the symbols counting by tens and just the quantities counting by tens and then combining the two. All right, and again, typically this is a larger um, format, the, the 10 board or the Sagan board, and it's usually wooden, but I have a, these are both printed versions. I have a smaller printed version here to fit better in the uh, frame. I'll also be using these golden beads, but if you have base 10 blocks, you can use those as well. And typically this is also done with a loose unit beads, so just ones of these, but I don't have those, so I'm going to be using the um, colored bead bars as an alternative. If you are using base 10 bars, you can also use loose unit cubes. So for this activity, you should have a Sagan uh, 10 board and the loose numerals 1 through 9. You should have exactly um, oh, 9 10 bars. I have too many here. So exactly nine of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then exactly nine of the single units. But again, I'm going to be using the uh, colored bead bars. Okay. Now, also, one more thing. Um, usually, um, these go, the beads are um, vertical so that they are going in the same direction as the numerals, but I'm going to be having them go this way so that they fit uh, better with the card. All right. So let's move this out of the way. And the first step would be to remind the child or ask the children, do you remember what this is? Yes, that's 10. And how much is this? Yes, that's 10. Here we're putting one, we're adding one to the 10 and one bead to our 10. 10 and one make 11. This is how we write 11. And here we have 11. Ten and two are twelve. This is how we write twelve. And this is how we make twelve. Twelve. Now again here, if I had the loose beads, I would just be adding another unit bead. Okay? Ten and three are thirteen. This is how we write 13. 10 and 3 are 13. 13. Ten and 4 are 14. 10 and 4 are 14. 14. Now, you can also use, I should say, a little felt mat if you don't want the beads to roll away. There we go. Ten and five are fifteen. Can you make fifteen? Mm-hmm. That's fifteen. At this point, you might still need to make it um, instead of asking for it. It all depends on the uh, ability of the child or children. Ten and six make 16. 10 and six are 16, 16. And then you would continue on like this. So 17, 18, 
19 and um, when you add one more, of course, if you had the loose unit beads, you would add one more. That makes 20. And we would trade those loose um, units in for another grouping of 10. And then we'll move this down. OK, so do you remember this? Yes, that's 20. And do you remember how much this is? Yes, that's also 20. And then you would continue on. So this is a very systematic running through of the number system. And it takes a while, and it doesn't necessarily need to be done in one setting. You can pause at one point and come back to it. But you would um, follow that same pattern of showing. OK, 21. Twenty-two, and so on, until you get all the way down to 99. All right, and that is the lesson.